Apollo 8, Houston. Okay, Apollo 8, we'd like to uh, update your CMC clock. Uh, this is not to correct errors, which we have now, but just to make up for some effects that we're going to have in lunar orbit. And uh, what we'd like to have you do is go to Pooh and accept and let us update the uh, clock time. Thank you. This is Apollo Control at 58 hours 37 minutes. At the present time, our spacecraft velocity is 4,037 feet per second, and uh, we're at an altitude now of 26,764 nautical miles above the moon. Uh, we had one rather brief uh, conversation with uh, Bill Anders in the past uh, 15, 15 minutes or so, and I have not heard from the spacecraft since. Uh, during that uh, conversation, uh, we passed up to the spacecraft uh, an update to the uh, computer-driven clock aboard the spacecraft, and uh, that uh, pretty much uh, summarized the content of that uh, Communication. We'll play that back for you now, and then uh, pick up live with conversations uh, that are okay, we're uh, going on at the present the, uh, time. Update and the computer is yours. How about uh, an O2 purge? Okay. Thank you. This is Apollo Control at 50, 59 hours, 22 minutes into the flight. At the present time, Apollo 8 is at an altitude of 25,036 nautical miles above the moon and traveling at a speed of 4,053 feet per second. Since our last report, we have only had one very brief conversation with the spacecraft. Uh, that was a request from the ground that uh, Bill Anders begin a fuel cell purge. This, of course, is one of the routine uh, bits of housekeeping that the crew will uh, is carrying out it uh, throughout the flight at uh, specified time intervals and uh, part of the procedure to remove any contaminants that have built up inside the fuel cells and could begin to uh, degrade their performance. Uh, we'll play, play back the uh, short bit of tape that we have on that uh, conversation and uh, then stand Follow by you. briefly uh, for any possible call to the crew. We'd like to update uh, CMC. Uh, the order that we'll update will be the LEM state vector, the CSM state vector, and an external delta V, and the rest mat. So uh, anytime you're free with it, uh, we can have poo and accept. We'll go ahead with it. All right, I just understand you can update the LEM state vector, CSM state vector. External delta V and arrest man. That's permanent. And I'll have uh, one, two, three pads to read to you. Stand by. Okay, you've got two and accept. Okay, thank you. And uh, just a minute, and I'll be with you on the pads. There'll be uh, three maneuver pads. One of them up. MCC four. I use this Apollo 8, we're ready to copy if you read. 
Okay, uh, stand by one, Bill. This is Apollo Control at 59 hours and 46 no, minutes. Uh, capsule communicator Ken Mattingly has just put in a call to the crew. Uh, we'll catch up with the tape and then follow the conversations live. Okay, uh, Apollo 8, let me read you mid-course correction number 4. Okay. All right, mid-course correction number 4. The RCS, GNN, 628-88, November Alpha, November Alpha, 060-59er, 5430-59. Minus zero 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 one two minus zero 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 one one plus zero 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 one two zero three one zero zero eight three Two three November Alpha plus zero zero six one eight zero 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 two zero zero one one zero 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 two zero one seven Two niner six five three zero eight Alpha Centauri up zero seven three left three four. For the stars, it will be the primary Sirius, secondary Rigel, one two niner, one five five zero one zero. Over. Roger, MCC-4, RCS-GNN-62888, NA, NA, 060-59-5430, minus 00012, minus 00011, plus 00012, 031, Zero zero eight three two three NA. Are you with me so far? Keep going. Plus zero zero six one eight zero 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 two zero zero one one zero 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 two zero one seven two nine or six five. Three zero eight Alpha Centauri up zero seven three left three four primary Sirius secondary Rigel one two niner one five five zero one zero over well, that's correct Paul eight. Okay, I've got one for Paracynthian plus two, 
and it's a minimum delta V solution. Roger, ready, copy. Okay, this is Paracynthian plus two. RCS, GNN. Six, two, eight, seven, one. November Alpha. And standby one. Okay. We'll pick up with a pitch trim and yaw trim of not applicable. Time zero seven one zero seven two two one six minus zero zero four six eight plus zero zero two five four plus zero zero one eight one one seven three one zero one zero two seven November Alpha plus zero zero one eight seven zero zero five six three Five one five zero zero five six three zero one three one six niner one niner eight zero four four down zero four four left four five plus one one zero zero minus zero two five zero zero one two niner six seven three six one niner eight one three seven zero one five three Primary Sirius, secondary Rigel. One two niner, one five five, zero one zero. Four jet plus X. This assumes execution of mid course correction number four and uses the same alignment as mid-course correction four. Over. All right, your Paracynthian plus two, minimum delta V, RCS G and N, six two eight seven one, N A N A, zero seven one, zero seven, two two one six, minus zero zero four six eight, plus. Zero zero two five four plus zero zero one eight one one seven three one zero one zero two seven N A plus zero zero one eight seven zero zero five six three five one five zero zero five six three zero one three one six niner one niner eight Zero four four down zero four four left four five plus one one zero zero minus zero two five zero zero one two nine or six seven three six one nine or eight one three seven zero one five three primary serious Secondary, Rigel, one two niner, one five five, zero one zero, four jet plus X, assumes MCC four with same alignment. Over. That's correct, Apollo eight.
uh, Houston Apollo 8 uh, confirm that Foresight Star and SPA exactly the same number as a, not a typographical error? Roger, Apollo 8, they're checking that. And Apollo 8, uh, the computer is yours, you can take it back. Roger, going to block. Thank you. Apollo 8, Houston. Apollo 8, Houston. Do you copy? I do now, loud and clear. I've got a, one more pad for you and uh, confirmation that those uh, Foresight Star number and the pitch angle are correct at 4-4. Four four. Uh, Roger, and we're ready to go uh, do our P-52 preferred alignment uh, at this time. Are you ready? That's affirmative. Okay, this is a Paracynthian plus two for a fast return. This will be SPS GNN 62871 minus 161 plus 129er 071 Zero six four two zero seven plus four five two two four minus zero six two one six minus one eight seven one two zero zero one two eight seven three five one November Alpha plus zero zero one eight seven four niner three three six six zero three four niner one one eight one one two zero three eight two nine or six earth up zero one zero right three seven plus one four seven five plus zero six five zero zero one three two three niner three six niner one three one zero six zero niner two three primary star Sirius secondary right hole one two niner one five five zero one zero no ullage assumes execution of mid course correction four and uses the same alignment the time for MCC five for Geru determination that's Golf Echo Romeo Uniform. This will be a GET of 8302. Use P37, NC4 steps 1 through 10, and NC8 steps 3 and 4. 
I say again, use P-37, November Charlie 4, steps 1 through 10, and November Charlie 8, steps 3 and 4. Velocity 400K for card or control chart, 36507, over. Roger, this is Apollo 8, you copy? Uh, this is Houston, uh, no joy. Uh, Roger, Houston, Apollo 8, now you're in. Okay, loud and clear, Bill. Okay, Ken, Parasynthian, plus two, mass return, SPS, GNN, 62871, minus 161-plus. One two niner zero seven one zero six four two zero seven plus four five two two four minus zero six two one six minus one eight seven one two zero zero one two eight seven three five one NA plus Zero zero one eight seven four nine three three six six zero three four niner one one eight one one two zero three eight two niner six earth up zero one zero right three seven plus one four seven five plus Zero six four zero zero one three two three niner three six niner one three one zero six zero niner two three primary serious secondary rigel one two niner one five five zero one zero no knowledge assumes MCC four same alignment. MCC-5, GERU Determination, GET-8302, P-37, NC-4, 1 through 10. And copy NC-8, 3 and 4. Velocity at 400K, 36507, over. Okay, Apollo 8, uh, that's correct with one exception in the pad format under longitude now in 6-1. That is plus 06500, over. Roger, uh, that's what I have. Plus zero six five zero zero. Okay, that's correct, Apollo eight. And we're ready to copy whatever else you have. Apollo eight. Uh Let's go back and confirm on your minimum delta V paracynthium plus two that the pitch column is one zero one. That's the fifth block down. Roger pitch. Roger pitch one zero one. Pitch one zero one. Okay, thank you very much. And uh, the item we have left to go is we'd like to get with you on how you want to handle the problem with Windows on Rev two. Okay, Houston, stand by on that, please. All right. Hi, uh, Houston, this is Apollo 8. We want you to come up with a suggested uh, red line for RCS usage during lunar orbit also, please. All right, that's him work. And 
for your information, Houston. Uh, when the sun is shining on window five, it's uh, pretty hazy. Window number one is a little bit better. Okay, thank you. Uh, Houston, this is Apollo 8. Houston, Apollo 8. Apollo 8, go ahead. Roger, uh, we tried to get this realignment. We need, do you have a maneuver to get us a, uh, some gimbal angles so we won't get gimbal locked when we get the preferred alignment? Stand by on that. Thank you. Uh, Houston, in our present position, we'll uh, go into gimbal lock uh, if we get, if we try to get some preferred angles. Uh, say again, Apollo 8. And running through program 52, we got a program alarm 401, which would uh, indicate that if we continue, we'd uh, drive it into gimbal lock. All right, I understand. Apollo 8, Houston. Uh, this uh, should be an option one, vice option three. Uh, Houston, we're doing an option one, vice option three. We keep getting a 401 alarm, which uh, says desired RCCU yield cuba lock. All right, stand by. Apollo 8, Houston, uh, appears that you have uh, maneuvered around the gimbal lock. Is that a firm? Roger, roger. Okay, uh, sorry we're late on that answer. Thank you. This is Apollo Control. During that uh, series of conversations with the spacecraft, uh, among the numbers passed uh, up to the crew and then verified and read back down uh, from the spacecraft uh, was the information that will be used for the mid-course correction coming up at 61 hours. Uh, that maneuver is scheduled to be a an RCS maneuver using the four reaction control system jets on the service module each of those uh, having a thrust of about 100 pounds. So we'd have a total of 400 pounds of thrust. Uh, the burn duration is scheduled for 11 seconds. And uh, with that much uh, burn time and that much thrust acting on the weight of the vehicle, which uh, is estimated to be 62,888 pounds, would give us a delta V, a change in velocity of about two feet per second. And that uh, velocity change would be in the uh, retrograde direction. It would slow the spacecraft down slightly, uh, having the effect of lowering the perigee or paraloon at the point uh, the spacecraft passes closest to the moon. Uh, our computations on the ground give the uh, low point above the surface of the moon as, at present without the maneuver is 69 nautical miles. Uh, the nominal altitude would be 61.5, and uh, this burn is designed to give us that altitude at uh, Parasynthian. The spacecraft will be pitched down and yawed right slightly in the burn, making it uh, retrograde and slightly out of plane. We're now back in uh, conversation with the spacecraft, and uh, uh, we'll pick that uh, conversation up now. Uh, here's to the Apollo 8. Go ahead, Apollo 8. My plan is to go back in to re-enter uh, program 52. Well, it did not drive to Capella, and I can't recognize it in the uh, scanning telescope. Uh, and my uh, plan is to go back in to uh, recall P-52. Okay, uh, stand by one. Apollo 8, uh, can you confirm that you zeroed the optics uh, prior to starting? Roger, 
Yes, sir, that's affirmative. We zeroed the optics. Apollo 8, Houston, uh, you have a go for uh, a second try on P-52 with an option 3. Okay, uh, I now have Aldebaran in the scanning telescope. I might want to call that one instead of Capella. Okay. I'll see what it comes up with first now. Uh, this is Apollo Control. We've just now passed the 30-minute mark in the clock counting down to the mid-course correction maneuver. Uh, that clock currently reading 28 minutes, 35 seconds until the burn. And at the present time, Apollo 8 is uh, at an altitude of 22,211 nautical miles above the moon, traveling at a speed of 4,085 feet per second. We'll continue to stand by for any conversations from the spacecraft or from the ground to the spacecraft. Uh, Houston, Apollo 8, we came up with an unacceptable difference in our stars. We're going to have to recycle. Uh, Roger. If we don't get this uh, mid-course in, what will I do to our parasympians? Uh, stand by, we'll... Apollo 8, uh, Houston, uh, in the event that we don't get uh, this mid-course in, we're still go for an LOI. And it's been suggested you might try MIRFAC, which is uh, Octo 10. That's the one we're trying now. Uh, Roger. This is Apollo Control at 60 hours, 40 minutes into the flight, and we're continuing to count down toward our mid-course correction. Uh, now. 19 minutes, 57 seconds uh, from that maneuver. And at the present time, uh, the crew is somewhat behind in the flight plan. Uh, and uh, we suspect they are involved in uh, aligning the inertial measure measurement unit in the guidance and navigation equipment. Uh, we just heard from the guidance officer that it appeared that uh, uh, that operation was proceeding well at this time. We'll continue to follow uh, activities and uh, monitor for uh, any conversation between the ground and the spacecraft. This is Apollo Control at 60 hours, 46 minutes. Uh, we're continuing to monitor for conversations between the ground and spacecraft. It's been a very quiet period uh, with the crew busily involved in getting ready for the mid-course correction maneuver. Uh, that burn is scheduled to occur now in 14 minutes. And uh, to re-summarize, that we'll be using the spacecraft reaction control system thrusters. It'll be an 11-second burn, giving us a uh, change in velocity of two feet per second. And that velocity change will primarily be retrograde, uh, slowing the spacecraft down by about two feet per second in order to lower the parasynthion, or point at which the spacecraft passes closest to the moon. And the burn will also be performed with the spacecraft yawed slightly out of plane. At 60 hours, 47 minutes, this is Apollo Control. Houston, Apollo 8. Go ahead. Now we're all set up, counting down at 8 minutes. All right, Roger. Apollo 8, uh, our data is down right now. Uh, appreciate uh, making sure you have the tape recorder on. Uh, Roger, I'm going to go. I'll have to go command reset. Uh, you've got control. This is Apollo Control at 60 hours, 54 minutes. We've just heard from the spacecraft. Jim Lovell advised that they are set and... Uh, apparently ready to go at this time for their mid-course correction maneuver. Uh, we'll play back that conversation for you and then uh, stand by for further communications with the spacecraft. Go ahead. Roger, you have some pitch and yaw angles for our PTC after the burn.
Okay, Apollo 8, that's pitch. 348, yaw 315. Pitch 348, yaw 315. That's affirmative. And would you give us another hack on your uh, countdown time? Five, eighteen, seventeen, sixteen, fifteen, fourteen. Thank you. Houston, I'll give you a mark at four minutes. All right, thank you. Three, two, one, mark, four minutes. And we're coming up now on uh, three minutes until our mid-course correction maneuver. Uh, you will note a slight uh, time delay from the time the, when the spacecraft is counting back and uh, we're watching our clocks here. Uh, that's about a one and a half second delay one way. Apollo 8, Houston. Uh, uh, wait, there's another call to the, the crew. Switch over to the left. Roger. Houston, I'll give you a mark at four minutes. Three, two, one, mark. Switch. Coming up on two minutes now and uh, still looking good for that maneuver. At the present time, the spacecraft is uh, at an altitude of 21,144 nautical miles above the moon and traveling at a speed of 4,100 feet per second. We're now coming up on one minute and uh, 30 seconds until that uh, mid-course correction maneuver. This is Apollo Control at uh, 60 hours, 59 minutes, 41 seconds. And we're counting down now the last 10 seconds uh, to our maneuver. And we should have the beginning of that 11 second reaction control system maneuver at this time. We'll stand by for confirmation here on the ground. And we show the burn complete at this time. We should have some preliminary figures shortly. Our guidance and control officer advises that uh, they clocked the burn at about 12 seconds. We nominally planned it for about 11. Uh, that would be a one second differential. Houston, follow in. Go ahead. Sure. Roger, burn on time, angles nominal, burn time about 12 seconds, 0 0.2 feet per second left of the Delta VC, zero in uh, VGX. We have transferred the results of the burn over left slot, verb 66. Oh, Roger. And got a couple of items to clean up. And we'll get you an RCS uh, budget. We've got one red line now. We're trying to get some uh, firmer numbers for you, and we'll have those in uh, a little bit. Right now, your, use, your PTC usage is uh, right on the flight plan line. So everything looks pretty good there. We want to uh, get a crew status report from you. We'd like to uh, firm up the Rev-2 flight plan idea. And sometime at your convenience, we'd like to take a reading of the PRD for the commander and CMP and then have you swap them. We're trying to isolate uh, what the possible reason is for the discrepancies or the disparity in the two readings. Roger. And we're maneuvering to the PTC attitude, Houston. Roger. Apollo 8, Houston, could you give us a uh, sign of that Z residual? Stand by, Houston. Uh, Houston, uh, looks like we didn't record the, the Z. Uh, we recorded Delta VC, which was minus two tenths. Okay.
Okay, I understand. Uh, the was one ten, but we didn't get the sign. Uh, Roger, I understand that was Delta VC was minus two tenths. Uh, I copied uh, uh, Delta VZ Zulu as uh, two tenths. Is that incorrect? Roger, it was one tenth, but we didn't get the sign. Oh, okay, thank you. Uh, we can give it. We have it on the tape, just whenever you want to uh, dump it. Roger, right, thank you. It'll be about the last uh, five minutes worth. Roger. Okay, Houston, uh, for the PRDs, CR is 0.07, CMP 0.64. LMB 0.80. Uh, note that the CMBs hasn't changed since we started, and the commanders haven't changed much. We have swapped PRDs. Commander has LMBs, CMB has commanders, and LMB has CMBs. PRD, over. Okay, thank you. This is Apollo Control. Based on information passed back from the crew on that uh, mid-course correction and uh, our figures here on the ground, it appears that uh, the maneuver was within about two-tenths of a foot per second of being right on the nominal, and that uh, would put us very close uh, to the pre-planned uh, paracynthian of 61 and a half uh, nautical miles. We, of course, will be tracking the spacecraft following this maneuver uh, to determine just exactly what effect it did have. Uh, but that was the uh, the pre-planned, uh, and that maneuver would have had the effect then of lowering the uh, Paracynthian by about uh, six or seven nautical miles. At uh, 61 hours, 10 minutes into the flight, Apollo 8 is currently at an altitude of 20,676 nautical miles and traveling at a speed of 4,107 feet per second. This is Apollo Control, Houston. Houston, Apollo 8. Go ahead. Roger, crew status board as follows. Water, uh, the commander has about uh, 50 uh, clicks so far today. The MP 43 and the LMP 44. Uh, we've eaten two meals so far today, day three meal A and B, uh, consumed most of it except for the, uh, the uh, hard, uh, hard bites, which no one cares for. The pudding was outstanding. We're indicating a pair of Cynthia now of uh, plus 63 miles. So he... uh, Commander and CMP have had a uh, rest period just before the mid course four of about two hours. Uh, Roger. Uh, Houston, Apollo 8. Go ahead. We're indicating about 20,500 miles from the moon at uh, 6114. How does that agree with what you figure? Apollo 8 Houston, uh, looks like you're on the secondary loop. We'd like to uh, run that for about five minutes. Roger. We're doing the ECS redundant component check. Roger, we're following. Data now, Houston. I guess you are. Okay, uh, I see you stopped my tape then. Uh, I've been running it for about uh, three extra minutes here uh, to record the check. All right, uh, we have data now. This is a temporary loss. What's the matter? Was it chow time down there? Roger. Didn't know you could smell it that far away. Give me a call when uh, you're satisfied with the secondary loop.
have been stabilized at uh, up here pretty well. Welcome. And uh, you might tell Jim that uh, our TCC is about four miles off. We had uh, 20,496. Fine. And we just put some compressor two on AC2. Uh, Houston, Apollo 8, do you show uh, battery B's voltage dropped uh, some from the uh, post charge value? Over. Apollo 8, Houston, uh, confirm that uh, battery B is a little bit lower, and this is attributed to the parasitic loads that are on there. Okay, I just didn't see the same uh, kind of drop for A, so if you think it's okay, it's fine. Uh, that's firm. You don't have the same uh, parasite loads on there. Uh, B is actually drawing something. Okay, I guess that's the radiators, huh? Apollo 8, uh, Houston, uh, we've seen enough of the secondary evaporator. We'd like for you to wait uh, about two minutes between the time you go to reset and the time you turn the pump off. I agree. Good idea. We plan to leave the uh, water control in auto. Roger. This is Apollo Control at 61 hours, 29 minutes. A preliminary uh, figure on the effects of that mid-course correction uh, performed at uh, 61 hours indicates that uh, our height of perigee will be 62.3 nautical miles as a result of that uh, maneuver. Uh, we had been shooting for uh, something on the order of 61.5. Uh, 62.3 is uh, uh, very good, and the uh, flight controllers here in uh, Mission Control Center are quite happy with that uh, figure. The uh, spacecraft also computed uh, height of Paracynthian following the maneuver, and we heard from uh, Jim Lovell. Uh, there on-board computation was that the maneuver would have uh, placed their paracynthian at uh, 63 nautical miles. So we have very close agreement between the ground computed figure in that case and uh, the on-board computation. We'll uh, play back that conversation with the spacecraft for you now and then stand by for any uh, communications that should develop afterwards. Apollo 8 is Houston, okay, uh, looking over the uh, our redundant component check here, it appears we have not yet uh, checked the integrity of the secondary loop radiators. And uh, if you haven't done that sometime, we'd like to uh, open up the secondary radiators but not flow through them and just measure the uh, accumulator pressure. Stand by. Uh, Houston, uh, we don't show that in our uh, pre-LOI check, but uh, we're willing to go ahead and do it if you want to. Hi, Raj. Uh, we just noticed that it isn't there, and yes, we would like to. You understand that we are not uh, proposing that you float, merely that we check uh, for any pressure decay. Uh, Roger, we'd like to get my uh, trusty assistant here and help me. Okay, Houston, we're going to blow the uh, secondary, we're going to open up the secondary rads for 30 seconds now. Roger. Right. Looks pretty good. Sure does. Okay. Okay, and they're closed now. Okay, thank you. That looks good. Roger, no meteoroids yet. This is Apollo Control. During that uh, conversation with the crew, Jim Lovell gave us a status report on uh, uh, the eating and uh, 
drinking and sleeping that uh, uh, they've done uh, recently, and he said that uh, they have logged 50 clicks of water for the commander, uh, 33 clicks for the command module pilot, and 44 clicks for the lunar module pilot. Uh, that translates into uh, one half ounce per click, uh, which would be about 25 ounces for the commander, uh, about uh, 21 or 22 ounces for the command module pilot, and about the same amount of water for the lunar module pilot. Lovell noted that uh, they had all had two meals today and uh, found the pudding particularly palatable to them. And also you heard uh, uh, Lovell relay the uh, onboard figure for their height of Paracynthian, the closest approach of the spacecraft to the moon following that uh, mid-course correction maneuver. We'll continue to monitor for uh, any conversations with the crew. And uh, if we don't pick up communications uh, in a minute or so, we'll take the circuit down and uh, stand by to come up again when there are, are further conversations. Apollo 8, Houston, uh, if you take your tape recorder to stop, why we'll reset it and uh, give it back to you. Roger, stop. Thank you. 